In this video, we're going to be solving 3 sine x equals 2 cos squared x between 0 and 2 pi radians. Okay? So, in the previous video, I rearranged the trigonometric equation sine squared plus cos squared equals 1 to get a replacement for sine squared. If I look at this equation, I have a sine x and a cos squared. Okay? I need to have all sine x or all cos x. So I don't have that at the moment. And I can't replace sine x using that equation without this going absolutely horrible. So what I must do is replace the cos squared using that equation. So instead of subtracting sine, uh, cos squared from both sides, I'm going to subtract sine squared from both sides from the original equation. That gives me 1 minus sine squared to be cos squared. So what I have is 3 sine x is equal to 2 lots of my replacement for cos squared, which is 1 minus sine squared. So what I can do now is expand the bracket. Leave the left-hand side alone for the moment. And then I'm going to add everything onto the left-hand side to tidy this up, to get it equal to 0. OK, that gets me this quadratic equation involving sine x. OK, now this quadratic can be factorised. Now you can either use a replacement for sine x, so put y equals sine x or something like that and solve the quadratic that way, or you might be comfortable with going straight into the brackets OK, so we're going to need to have plus 2 here in order to get 4 sine x and then minus 1 to subtract a sine x to get the 3 and the minus 1 times 2 is minus 2. So that is it factorised. So either this bracket is 0, in which case sine x is 1 half, or this bracket is 0, in which case sine x is minus 2. So now let's sketch sine. So sine x between 0 and 2 pi looks like that. If I draw in the horizontal line of 1 half, that is this line here. So there are my two solutions. Okay. So making sure your calculator is in radians, so shift mode and then number 4. We can do inverse sine, so x is the inverse sine of a half, inverse, inverse sine rather, of a half, is pi over 6. So this solution here is pi over 6, so if that distance is pi over 6, so is that distance. So pi take away pi over 6 gets me 5 pi over 6. So that is a pair of solutions coming from this first equation. OK. Now I'm going to try and solve sine x is equal to minus 2. Now, minus 2, because the curve goes between minus 1 and 1, minus 2 would be all the way down here. But as you can see, this line does not cross the curve. And so there are no solutions to this equation. So the only solutions to the original problem are pi over 6 and 5 pi over 6.